Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Huting, and this is an Acer Aspire V11, which is an 11.6 inch notebook uh, with a relatively low cost and relatively long battery life. Gets around 7 hours of battery life thanks to an Intel Bay Trail low power processor and sells for about $370, which isn't bad for a 7 hour uh, laptop with a touchscreen display, f uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of storage, and it uh, weighs less than 3 pounds. There are even cheaper models. The E series, uh, E11 series, uh, has no touchscreen and starts as low as $250. Um, but what a lot of people have been wondering is can you upgrade this guy? And if you're observant, you might notice that there's a bunch of screws out here already. If you undo all the screws on the back, it's actually very easy to just sort of pop the rear cover off. And that gives you access to the in insides. Easiest thing to upgrade is going to be the hard drive. This is a, a 2.5 inch slim uh, standard hard drive. When you undo a couple of screws here, you can sort of lift the entire uh, board and slide this out and just slide another one in. So if you wanted more storage or if you wanted faster storage for a solid state drive, you'd be able to just sort of slide that right into place. You can also uh, remove this screw and pull out the wireless card if for some reason you wanted to uh, replace the wireless card. Now you might notice that uh, the two other things are going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, one is the RAM. You actually have to lift up this entire board to get to the RAM. There's a single uh, slot there that you can replace the memory. And um, that's going to mean sort of taking out some of these other things, and it can be a little bit tricky to get them back into place. So uh, you can find more pictures of the process at lilliputing.com. I didn't quite go so far as to remove everything, because uh, this is a loaner unit that Acer sent me, and I want to be able to send it back in one piece. Um, so it's theoretically possible to upgrade the memory, but the easiest thing to upgrade is going to be the storage. The battery is also really not designed to be up, uh, replaced or upgraded here. You can see it's a uh, 32... Uh, uh, 3,220 milliamp hour or 48 watt hour battery, um, although it, there's a little bit of leeway here, so it can be a 46 watt hour battery too, according to this uh, um, schematic. So it's not entirely clear what you're getting, uh, but it's going to be around seven hours of battery life, depending on usage. Over here it says 3,090 milliamp hours. Um, so, you know, there's a, a little bit of leeway, it seems like. So anyways, that's just a quick look at the uh, upgrade options. Storage easy, uh, wireless card pretty easy, uh, RAM a little bit harder, but definitely doable. Um, and you may also notice that uh, there don't appear to be any fans in here. So that's uh, another thing that's nice to confirm. You open up the case and it's got a low power uh, I believe 7.5 watt hour batter, uh, processor doesn't generate a lot of heat and uh, there aren't any vents in the case and there's no fan here at all either. Um, you do see the stereo speakers and ports on the back including USB, HDMI, and uh, Ethernet and a power adapter. There's another slot here on the side for USB and headphones and SD card slot and nothing over here on this side. So that's a quick look at the insides of the Acer Aspire V11. Should be pretty similar to the E11 series. Inexpensive, portable, fanless Bay Trail laptops uh, with upgradable storage and other components if you're feeling ambitious. Uh, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing. You can find more details and some photos of the process at lilliputing.com.